If police suspect that you committed a crime, they can arrest you and put you on trial. At that trial, prosecutors must prove you are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But if police suspect your car was involved in a crime, they can take it, sell it, and in most places, pocket the proceeds to pad their budgets. They need not prove you committed any crime, or even arrest you to take your property away. Welcome to the upside-down world of civil asset forfeiture. With civil forfeiture, your property is guilty until you prove it innocent to get it back. And because most state and federal laws allow police and prosecutors to pocket the proceeds, they have a big incentive to pursue profits, not justice. How big? In 1986, the Justice Department's forfeiture fund took in $94 million. Now, it has more than a billion. State and local agencies receive forfeiture funds too. But we don't know how much because most states don't publicly report on forfeiture. No surprise, abuse is rampant. One New York Police Department spent forfeiture funds on food, gifts, and entertainment. In Georgia, forfeiture funds paid for football tickets for a DA's office. And a DA in Texas used forfeiture dollars to buy TV ads for his re-election campaign. Meanwhile, citizens are seeing cash, cars, and other property taken away for the flimsiest of reasons. Carrying too much cash? Police can accuse you of selling drugs or laundering money and seize it. No conviction or even arrest required. An Institute for Justice study grades state laws on how well they protect people from wrongful forfeitures. Only three states receive a B or better. The rest range from mediocre to awful. And so does federal law. Worse, a federal legal loophole allows police and prosecutors to bypass state protections and keep pocketing forfeiture money. IJ's research shows that the easier and more profitable these laws make forfeiture, the more it is used and abused. It's time to end civil forfeiture. People shouldn't have their property taken away without being convicted of a crime. And law enforcement shouldn't be policing for profit.